All right, I know you're looking at a blank screen right now. That's because we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 5 user experience, a.k.a. our first true look at the PlayStation 5 UI. Uh, there's been a lot of talks, obviously, about next-gen coming up. PlayStation 5 releasing on November 12th with the Xbox Series X and S releasing on November 10th. And we've seen pretty much everything there is to see uh, from the Xbox here. Here we got a, a little uh, crash report about premiere anyways uh what i want to talk about is obviously this ui experience we're going to react to it it's 11 minutes and 35 seconds long before we get into the ui experience we're going to play the video we're going to listen to what they have to say we'll pause it at certain parts and talk about it i want to remind you that we are actually giving away a playstation 5 also or i, I really should say and or an xbox series x or s and or a nintendo switch all you have to do is go down into the description there is a link to enter you can also comment on the video like this video subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon in addition to all of that, we're giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe for those that are curious. All right, let's just get right into this because there's a lot to talk about. Peggy 16. All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. I'm Hideaki Nishino, and I head up PlayStation's platform planning and management team, which includes product and UX design. Today, we are finally going to give you a look at the PlayStation 5 user experience. We will see some of the features that enable games to work together with the hardware and network to deliver a truly next-generation experience. Our vision for a PS5 user experience is simple. We believe that your playtime is valuable and should be meaningful. PlayStation team members from all around the world work to deliver a PS5 experience that is completely so one thing I wanted to note here is this is what, what happens when you boot up your PlayStation 5 from like sleep mode and all that stuff. I wish they would have showed what it was like to create a profile and set up the PlayStation Network. They didn't go that in-depth. They, they, they talk, spend most of this video talking about features that happen while you already have a game booted up. But uh, anyways, let's go on. Standard on you, the player, connecting you with a great play and a passionate community of gamers. With a look and feel that's designed for 4K TVs, the PS5 user experience was built from the ground up to take advantage of the console capabilities, complementing the transformative games coming with this new generation. I should note that this video tour is from a pre-production environment on the PS5 console, so there may be a few small wrinkles or minor changes once the console launches in November. And now, let's check it out, courtesy of our own Sid Schumann. Thanks, Nishino-san. Welcome to your new PlayStation 5 console experience. This time, we've started up from rest mode. We've already created an account and signed into PlayStation Network, so let's log in. In this case... So this is our first look at the UI. Uh, this is obviously from rest mode and then with a the game already loaded up uh, because the console was in rest mode. And I find it really slick. Like, this, this is... You're going to see throughout this showcase that everything about this is completely different from what happened on prior PlayStation systems. And I like how they, they kind of took that center uh, UI approach that they've had in the past that was kind of like a DVD menu. They moved that to the bottom of the screen. Uh, and then obviously they're going to go over all these new features with these things they call cards. Um, but honestly, this is all happening while the game is still there in the background. Uh, which to me is just extremely, extremely impressive. Uh, there's not really much about what Sony did that I would actually improve upon. Uh, they even have a couple features that Nintendo started, but they're doing it even better. Um, this is maybe the best UI of next gen. Now, obviously, we'll do a full UI exploration of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X once I have them here in my house, uh, and we can go over uh, some of the stuff there because obviously we have quick resume and other features that are available on PlayStation, I'm um, sorry, on Xbox Series X that aren't available seemingly here on PlayStation 5, but they have some also some unique features of PlayStation 5, uh, some of them that started on PlayStation 4 but are just better now. Uh, so let's, let's watch the rest of this UI case, I've resumed right where I left off in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. And here, we're looking at PlayStation 5's Control Center. From here, it's one click and we're right back into the game, but let's take a moment and look around. The Control Center is always one tap of the PlayStation button away. It provides immediate access to almost everything you need from the system without leaving the game. 
This includes things like seeing who is online, checking the status of a download, managing your controller, power, and more. And notably, there's there's a, a similar menu like this on Xbox too. Just not quite with as much stuff These to do. These colorful characters are called cards, and they let you interact with games and the system in a variety of ways. First, as we've just resumed, the Control Center is showing a special card that allows me to get up to date on recent stories posted by... So this is similar to what you could do uh, back in the day on Wii U and then also on Another Switch with the news section, except it's quickly accessible. My game Any game you're playing, quickly accessible. That's... Controller. I like that. Let's check out one of the most powerful new features of the PS5 console. They're actually just to the right in this row, and we call them activities. Activities are part of the plan to remove barriers to game. So activities are basically uh, Sony's new um, achievement-like system or telling you what you need to do or what needs to still be accomplished in certain games and certain levels and certain aspects uh, to 100% that aspect. Now, I don't know how in-depth this is going to end up being with third-party games. Obviously, Sony's exclusive games are really going to be taking advantage of this. This is a huge leap over what they did on PlayStation 4. Uh, and he's going to go over some of the features that exist in these uh, cards that let you uh, essentially uh, do some crazy stuff. Let's just, let, I'm going to let him speak about these cards in depth here and then we'll react after. Play. Let's get an example of one way they're used in Sackboy, a big adventure. With a tap of the PlayStation button, I'm back to playing the game. Sackboy, a big adventure, is packed with things to discover, and each level represents one type of activity I can play, many of which I can go back to later to discover more. I tap the PlayStation button to bring up the control center again. I can see a number of available activities, both active and suggested by the system. Let's take this first one, a big adventure, as an example. I can see that I haven't quite completed this level yet. I'm at 33%. Let's open it up and see more. Here I can see more information, including key objectives I haven't met. And I'm seeing a very important piece of information here. It says about 10 minutes left. This is PlayStation 5's personalized playtime estimate, giving me an idea how long it will take me to complete this activity. Some activities even let you jump directly to that place in the game. But there's more to see here. For another example, let's open that activity back up. It looks like I missed an objective to find the monk robes costume piece. Looks like I need a little help. Some in-game activities, like this one, offer official game help. Game help is included as a benefit for active PlayStation Plus members in some PS5 games. In this case, I can open up that objective to get some hints without resorting to a web search or digging through long videos or articles that might contain spoilers. This particular hint is a video, and I can play it here in the card, and I can expand it to get a bigger view without leaving the game. Sometimes it's really useful to be able to see the hint on screen while you play. Some cards can be put in a picture-in-picture -picture mode, or, as shown here, a side-by-side -side view. So, outside of the convenient way that you can see these hints, I was interested is that Nintendo actually had this idea back on Wii U. If you guys remember, if you died enough in New Super Mario Bros. U, uh, there would be, like, an option to basically let the game, like, a Luigi version, like, play through the game. Uh, for you and then you could take over at any point uh this is kind of like a similar thing to that except instead of playing the game uh they're, what they're doing is they're eliminating the need for walkthroughs uh this is very very interesting because walkthroughs are still widely popular they're one of the most searched for things on the internet and a feature set like this is incredibly impressive and in how seamlessly it integrates into the game uh, you're going to see later you can do a picture in picture in view obviously you can go side by side here uh, to, to watch the hint as you're playing. I really love what Sony has done here with this UI design. Whoever uh, designed this feature set for hints, this is the ideal hint system. Now, obviously, we need to know how much work, extra work this adds to developers or, or whoever's making the game and how in-depth this is going to be on every game because I'm guessing that for something like Sackboy, this was a lot easier to accomplish than for something like, say, a new Uncharted game or a new Last for Us game or even Spider-Man. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see how developers take advantage of this or don't take advantage of this. We, we need to see how widespread this use case is. But at least for this game, really impressive. 
Super cool. And if you pin a card, you can access it via the control center at any time. Now let's go find those rascally monk robes. Thanks, game help. The team at PlayStation wanted to make it really easy to chat with your friends on the PlayStation 5 console. So let's check out how it Hey works. Nintendo. Here, Look at this. Opening an interactive notification. In-game voice chat the across games. And I've decided and this is a standard feature for every system on Nintendo, had. but this is really cool. Now my friend could have done this on the PlayStation app for mobile devices, from a PS4, or in this case, from a PS5. The DualSense controller features an integrated microphone too, so I could start talking right away. But I always have the ability to hit the mute button on the controller. Cross-platform chat. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and an app on a phone. Nintendo, take notes! Bam. Parties take on an expanded role with PS5, and they now provide persistent spaces to connect so this is cool. groups that you play so with. So they experiment, have experimented with this back on PlayStation 4, but it's One even better now. Watch, watch how they do the screen sharing with friends. That's right. It's not just voice chat. Watch this. Looks like they're playing Uncharted The Lost Legacy. We can chat while we play, and I can watch his progress as well. This is another card that could be put in picture-in-picture -picture mode. Yeah, look at that. Into the side so you can watch you your friends play as you, you can play. Access it anytime via Isn't the that awesome? Too, but let's I love now. this. This creates a whole new interact interactivity. Okay, that I've never review. seen on a system. So far, we've seen how activities on this is going to be great for live streams, by the way. Easier and faster to hop back into PS5 games, and how you can get in-game help and chat with your friends. So that leaves online multiplayer gaming. Let's check it out. Here we go. A lot of I people see that care some of this. my friends are online, so it's time to say goodbye to Sackboy for now and spin up a match of destruction. All There's stars. your trophies. One of my friends in the party has already started a match and we can join them from this card in Control Center. Destruction All-Stars. here we stars. go. Destruction All-Stars now quickly starts thanks to PS5's ultra-high-speed SSD. It's going to be quick load times across the board. Okay, I think we've got enough people on our party, so let's jump in. We're keeping the focus on PS5's user experience today, so let's zip ahead so we can see more. I like how and they showed it. Like that, head. We're in. We don't have time to play a full match today, but I do think we have time to take a quick photo. To do that, I'll just tap the Create button on the DualSense controller. PS5 is always capturing recent gameplay, but when you compose a shot, even using in-game photo mode, you can capture a high-quality screenshot here. This optimizes capturing the moment, letting you review and choose to share later on. Yeah, I'm not sure if I, I like this versus what the Switch does, where you, it just automatically takes it up the screenshot button. But this PS5 button does more because you can record gameplay. Okay, from so it. far we've shown off Which I think how is to jump great. into activities, how to chat with your friends, get into groups together to play, capturing gameplay, all of that while in game. But what if I want to play a different game? Welcome right, like to the, the PlayStation menu. 5 home screen. This is where you'll land when you start up from a powered off state and where you'll go when you want to choose a new game to play or download. The layout of the space is designed to present games and game content beautifully on a 4K display with simple and super fast access to what you need. It's really clean. And in case you're wondering, media related apps will have their own space like this one, but today we're focused on gaming. Each game has its own hub completely integrated, so all you need to do is scroll down to see activities you can jump right into. Video clips, stories about the game, DLC, and more. Backward compatible PS4 titles will benefit from some of these features too. Let's move one spot to the left and check out Explore, which brings together all your games. We saw a view of this from the control center earlier, and another view will also be in the new PlayStation app for mobile devices. Explore keeps you in the loop with official stories from PlayStation and from all the games you're following, including trending media from the community. We'll be testing and learning about this feature in the US. I don't launch, know how many people so are going to actually everyone use will this, have this, but it, it's, it's neat that it but exists. But it gives you a good idea of the direction. And this is PlayStation Store for PS5. It's completely integrated into the system. It's not a standalone app anymore. Browsing for new games to play will be easier thanks I to like the speed that. of PS5 yeah. and a more personalized store experience. And here, you'll be able to browse the latest games and deals. 
You'll find PS5 games and many backward compatible PS4 games too. I'm sad to say, but we are almost out of time. So let's pull up Control Center one more time with a tap of the PlayStation button. On our way out, why don't we quickly share that photo we took in Destruction All Stars? We can find recently captured. So as you see, they don't really have a quick resume feature to switch center. between multiple games. From here, we can do. Some Not quick that the load edits, times are any bad. Share it right are, now. Are, are, are terrible. But PlayStation but, Five, I have the um, option to share videos and images. You know, the, the quick resume feature is really neat on services. Xbox. It's like the one thing they have. Directly to one of my parties. I, I kind of wish Remember, Sony would uh, parties integrate. Are bigger than just Maybe they will in the future. So I'll select one of my favorite parties here. This is going to share this quick shot. message here. This is cool. The dual messaging, by the way, Nintendo. Really get on the messaging in game. Come on. I can't even do it through the app. So you no longer have to type I don't know why Nintendo is so restricted. Like all this, this whole UI microphone. just showing how much Nintendo cool has detail. failed us. On if the my Switch. friend hasn't yet played the activity where I captured this media, and the game's developer thinks that activity might contain spoilers, they'll receive a warning before they view it. <laughs> well, that's cool. it for our demo. There are many more exciting features we couldn't get to today, but we're super excited to share more of the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation app user experience with you in the coming weeks headed to launch. And of course, this was just the first look at what fans can expect on day one. The team at PlayStation is committed to evolving this experience with our community in the months ahead. So again, really, really cool look at the at the UI. I have to say, like throughout it, it is probably the most impressive of what's going to end up being not next gen but current gen platforms. So you have this, you have the Xbox Series X and S, and then you have the Switch. Uh, it makes the Switch's UI look extremely primitive. Um, to be fair, sort of the Xbox Series X's UI. Um, Microsoft's tend to know to make their UI a little bit more bloated, uh, whereas PlayStation's always been super clean, but also not necessarily like. Um, <laughs> visually um enticing i guess like i said they, they've always gone with that dvd menu style well they definitely have updated all of that to current 2020 standards and i'm loving the new feature sets i think it's absolutely amazing i think they're doing some unique things that i wish xbox would do and clearly nintendo uh there's no such thing as themes or anything but then again the way their ui is set up you don't necessarily need themes whereas nintendo kind of has a lot of dead space that would make sense for themes so i don't know uh that was a great look at the playstation 5 ui I, i'm glad sony finally shorted off it was kind of that last piece of the puzzle we needed to see from sony uh just to know what we can expect now obviously we need to wait for independent third party uh hands-on impressions and all of that jazz uh which i assume are going to be coming soon given that youtubers out in uh, Japan already have the system. I'm assuming that it's already arriving or sh arriving shortly for hands-on time with the Western media. Uh, so I expect to hear more about it soon. But there you go. That was a look at the PlayStation 5 UI, or at least part of the UI, the home menu, uh, in-game menus, new features, all that jazz. Love that game hint stuff. This is great. Be sure to enter those giveaways. I can't wait to go hands-on with PlayStation 5 myself later this year. All right, folks. I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.